to offer a teen and tween yoga class, kind of focusing on anger. So with all of the restrictions that we're dealing with right now, our inability to see our friends, maybe we've had some things that are important in our lives get taken away from us, that can certainly stir up feelings of anger. And I'm not sure about you, but for me, anger tends to kind of sit right here in our gut. And so we're gonna do some yoga poses today to refocus our anger. So using that feeling and that sensation that we have in our own body as anger, we're gonna redirect that anger. So as you may imagine, if anger kind of sits within our gut, kind of that central place right between the navel and underneath the heart space, we're gonna be focusing a lot on that area today. So I highly recommend that you do not practice this right after you have eaten, as we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff with our core and our gut. So to begin with, I'm gonna have you guys grab a pillow and maybe a blanket for a little extra padding or support under the knees. And that's all you'll need today. So take a moment to go grab those things. And as you start to get settled in onto your mat, you're gonna sit up on either a cushion or the edge of your blanket. And you're gonna sit up nice and tall. And I want you to take your hands and place them right, on, right along the solar plexus of your body. And as you breathe in, you're gonna notice that those solar plexus kind of lift and expand that area. And as you exhale, you're gonna notice that that contracts. And just notice the feeling of your hand right on those solar plexus, right between the navel and the heart space. And maybe you feel the warmth on the hand as well as the warmth of the hand on the belly. So I'm gonna teach you a little bit of a breath that helps us work with anger. And that breath is fire breath. So as you can see, anger tends to be a little bit fiery in the body. And you're gonna keep your hands right along the solar plexus Plexus, and you're going to take a big, big breath in. And then with short spurts of breath, you're going to puff out that area of your belly that you're holding on to. So it's going to look a little something like this. Big breath in. And you're going to notice that pulsing of your solar plexus as you do that. So let's try that again. And don't worry, no one is watching you. So just do that on your own and just notice how that helps you kind of focus that place where we hold anger. So take, let's do this two more times. Big breath in. Last one like that. Big breath in. Really use the strength of your gut and go. release your hands, you can place them on your thighs, maybe you can rest them along your sides, and let your breath go back to normal. And just notice that if you moved under any energy, if that tension that you're feeling in your gut or that swirling about in your gut starts to alleviate with that breath, start to breathe in deeply, breathing into that space, filling up like a balloon, and then exhaling it out. Do that again, one more big breath in, fill up like a balloon. Really puff out that space right below your heart and above your navel, and then exhale, let it out. And then sit here for a moment. Maybe choose to close the eyes or look on the floor in front of you. And I just want you to notice what it is that you might be feeling angry. Maybe it's no longer having that connection with a friend. Maybe it's missing out on something important you were going to do in the second half of your school year. Maybe there was something that happened that you're getting upset about and with that upsetness stirs up a little bit of anger. angry about COVID-19, having so much control over everything that's going on in our lives and our world today. Just notice that. And 
And as you notice these things, notice how that affects you and your body. Do you start to feel tension in the muscles? Maybe you feel a holding of the breath, breath or a feeling of tightness in your stomach or your gut. Maybe it feels like warmth flowing through your body. And we're gonna use that energy that's already being created, that already exists within your body, and we're going to focus it on certain areas and certain areas of strength and tension. So take one more deep breath in, just kind of feeling that sensation of your anger. And then when you exhale, start to move the pillow or whatever it is that you're sitting on off of your body and start to lay down on your back. You may have noticed that by just thinking of these certain things that you're feeling upset or angry about, they start to show up in your body. So let's direct that energy again back a little bit on the solar plexus. So we're going to sit here a little bit in this constructive rest pose. And then maybe just using the core to sway your legs from side to side. So imagine this part of your body moving your legs rather than your legs moving. You can bring your arms down to your sides if you want to. You can keep your hands by your belly. And notice as you start to breathe with some of the movement, maybe inhaling knees up and exhaling knees down to the right and stay. Notice as you deeply breathe in, maybe you release a little bit of tension in your body. Take one more breath in, bring your knees back to center. And exhale down, knees go to the left and stay. Just bringing a little bit of gentle twist into the spine right now as we settle on our mats. And then bring both knees back up to center. Walk your feet so that they're right below your sitting bones. And then bring your hands down towards the sides of your hips. Your palms can be face down underneath the legs or actually right alongside the and then gently start to bring your legs up and overhead, almost as if they're floating above your hips. And you might notice a little bit of that core and lower abdomen having to work here to hold the legs up. And that's okay, that's actually what we want to do. So if you think of that anger and that place that kind of resonates in your body, it's that solar plexus and lower abdomen. So now we're gonna bring some heat and fire into that place. So sometimes when we start to stimulate that place, it starts to release on your exhale. So maybe start to lower your feet about a third of the way down. And notice how that changes the body. You may feel some sensation, some shaking, some work in your core and abdomen, some heat building. Just like we mentioned earlier, take another big breath in. And then exhale, bring it about half of the way that you just did. And notice how much harder that is to work, but keep breathing, big breath in. And out. Last big breath in. Exhale, almost down to the floor. Hold for three. Big breath in, two. And one, relax onto the floor. And notice by creating tension in your body and your lower abdomen, or maybe all the muscles in your body as you release your body on the floor, those muscles tend to relax. So it actually releases tension. Let's try that one more time. Legs come up. Notice the work that it takes to hold the legs up. Take a big breath in and exhale, lower about a third of the way down. Notice the body shake, the sensations of the muscles tensing, the heat that it builds in the body, just like we noticed that with our anger before. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hold it down half the way. It works a little bit more. It's hard to hold, but hold the breath in. And exhale, inhale, lower all, almost all the way down. Just hold it up an inch or two. And exhale, release. Woo. That's not nothing. That's a lot of work there. But notice how when you let go and breathe, how it releases throughout the entire body. So maybe the muscles get a little bit more floppy or heavy. Sometimes 
loosening up things helps our body relax even more. Take one more deep breath on purpose in. Slow breath on purpose out. That's where my dad big breath in. Breath out. Start to gather your knees in towards your chest. Gently rock from side to side, pressing your low back into the floor. Noticing how your core has to work here. Just press your low back into the floor. Maybe come back to center. Let's do one more little squeeze. Let's bring our hands so that they reach past our hips. Lift our head, neck, and shoulders up. Squeeze everything in. The knees towards the forehead and the forehead towards the knees. For three, big breath in, two, and one. Release that down. Let's rock up and down, or maybe just rock onto your side until you're back up into a sitting position. So just take a moment in this sitting position, just noticing the work you've already created in your body. Notice if the feeling or the emotion might have shifted a little bit by paying attention to those body parts of your body on purpose. And in a moment, I'll meet you on your hands and knees on your mat. Welcoming back to your mat, so we're on our hands and knees, we're just going to do a couple of things to offset what we just did in our core and our abdomen. So even in this tabletop position, you might notice the belly pulling up and in to create a long, straight spine. So we're going to let the belly drop a little bit here on this cow pose. Arch your back, lift your gaze, and pull your shoulders back, feeling a stretch all along the body. So just undoing what we just did here. And then on your inhale breath, you're going to take your belly button up and in and press the floor away for a cat pose. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale, arch your back. Drop your belly, pull your shoulders wide. Exhale, round your back, press the floor away, pull up and in. And then take a big breath in, drop that belly, let that stretch along the belly happen, lift your head. And then exhale, tuck and round. And then from here, bring your toes together, knees wide, and stretch forward and down for child's pose position. So in this child's pose position, we're going to work a little bit on reaching our chest a little bit more closely to the floor as our fingertips reach towards the top of the mat and our tailbone reaches towards our heel. Breathe in and notice the stretch and the elongation of the spine. And then exhale, let everything settle down towards the floor. Do that with a couple more breaths here. Maybe reaching the fingertips a little bit more forward as the tailbone reaches back. Noticing how the chest gets a little closer to the floor. And then exhaling, let everything settle. So you're going to do this one more time. Big breath in. And exhale. And remember, this pose, this child's pose, is our safe pose. So we're going to be doing a lot of core abdomen, or ab abdominal work today. So if you need to rest, this would be your position to come back to. For here, we're going to move into that tabletop position again. And we're going to strengthen the core by doing a little bit of a supported plank pose. So what that means is that I'm going to walk my hands a little bit forward so that my knees are still on the floor but my tailbone and my shoulders are aligned. And then I'm gonna bring my elbows out to the sides and squeeze them in so that my elbows are pointed back. And notice how you need to use that core position to hold yourself up. So this is a modified plank pose, plank pose, sorry. And on your inhale breath, look past your mat. And on your exhale breath, start to lower yourself down, maybe an inch or two. Maybe the chin goes all the way down. Inhale, presses you back up. And then exhale, stretch back, child's pose. We're going to do that a few more times. Inhale, roll forward, come on to that modified plank. Exhale, lower down. Maybe chin goes down, maybe you just go an inch or two. Inhale, pushes you back up. And then exhale, stretch back, child's pose. Take a moment to breathe, to stretch out those arms. One big breath in. 
Low breath out. Inhale, come back into that modified plank with the knees down. Pull the shoulder blades back. Pull the belly up and in. Take a big breath in. Exhale, elbows go back. Chin comes down. Maybe it's just an inch or two. Lift up, stretch back, child's pose. Feel the work and the tension you created in your body. And calm it down with using a little bit of breath. Slow breath in. And slow breath out. Big breath in. Slow breath out. Come back down here to your hands and knees. And this time you can stay in that modified plank pose with the hips forward, the arms right underneath the shoulders. Or if you're feeling a little bit more, or you'd like a little bit more in your body, you're gonna come into a full plank pose. So you're gonna push your heels back as you push your hands forward. And at the same time, try to pull your hands out and toes out, even though they're not gonna move. Pull that belly button up and in. Press the floor away. Keep looking at the top of the mat. Now start to bring those hip points up to reach towards your shoulders as your head just looks forward. Soften your face and jaw and hold for three. Big breath in, two, and one. Lower your knee, lower all the way down to the floor. Ah. Notice how much heavier your body might now from here, we're gonna allow for a little bit of a stretch in the abdominals, which we just worked really hard. So you're gonna start to bring your forearms back to the mat. This is called a sphinx pose. Now, even though it's not gonna look like much here, what you're gonna do is press your forearms into the mat and super glue your hands into the floor so that they don't move. And then you're gonna pull your elbows back as the chest lifts, you're gonna tuck your chin slightly in and you're gonna pull your lower belly up. You're gonna really engage your legs by pressing the tops of the feet on the floor and then again, pull those arms towards you as your head looks up. Now this may not look like much, but it might be feeling like a lot, so hold and breathe. Big breath in. Slow breath out. Deep breath in. Breath out. Last big breath. Exhale, lower all the way down onto the floor. Let your hands stack on top of each other and your forehead rest up to your hands. Maybe sway your hips from side to side. Maybe be still. Connect with your breathing. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more deep breath in. And deep breath out. Now option here to press back up into a tabletop position, or if you really want to give yourself a little bit more extra oomph, like you're pushing the floor away, because when we get angry, we want to push or shove or hit. So I want you to imagine that you're going to push the floor away, either in that tabletop position that I just taught you, or you can come up all the way into a plank pose, either on your knees or off your toes. I'm gonna to show you the one off your toes. So take one more big breath in. Exhale, breath out. Inhale, push that floor away. And then exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Ha. Maybe start to bend your legs here, get a nice stretch in the back of the muscles. Maybe start to walk your hands and feet so that they're in a comfortable position for you. Bend your knees a lot. And imagine that part of the body I just showed you, too, I've been focusing on all class. Lifting up and in to lift your seat higher and then press the mat down in a way. That belly button's gonna pull up and lift to this pose. This is gonna be important for a pose that we're gonna do later. So notice how that feels. Belly button up and in, tailbone high, press the mat away for three, Big breath in, two, and one. Knees come down, child's pose. Big breath in. Slow breath out. Pause 
Where'd that come? Big breath out. Walk your hands back to your knees. And then let's take a moment to take care of those wrists. So we've been working pretty hard on those wrists. So we're gonna just start to roll out our wrists in one direction. And then maybe in the other. If you like, you can gently push the top of your wrist down just gently. You don't want to push too hard or pull back. You can do the other hand and pull back and shake it out. All right, we're going to keep working our core and our gut a little bit more with those plank poses and then we'll work towards some standing postures. So we're going to come back to our hands and knees and press back into the downward facing dog. Find your downward facing dog. Feel the foundation of your hands and your feet on the floor. Now do that same thing where you focus on the belly button and lift it high and up as if a string is pulling your belly button a little bit closer towards the ceiling and you'll notice that you're almost your spine lengthens and your arms press down and away. Now you're gonna lift your right leg high. And on your exhale, you're gonna pull your knee in towards your nose to your degree that feels right for you. Big breath in, lift that high. Exhale, pull the knee in, push the floor away. Last one, big breath in, lift that high. Exhale, pull the knee in, press the floor away. Take a big breath in and step your foot between your grab your blanket here and drop your knee down. Walk your right foot to the right a little bit more and come onto your front leg. And then from here, you're going to grab so that your tailbone reaches down towards the floor and your belly button brings reaches up and in, so you're still engaging that low belly. You can stay here with your hands on your front leg or lift your arms up Big breath in. Exhale, stay. One more deep breath in. Exhale, stay. Last one, big breath in. Lift them, maybe look towards the sky. Exhale, bring your hands down. Bring it so that your left fingertips are facing the left side of your mat, maybe towards the outside of your mat. Place your right hand onto your right knee and twist your spine. Keep your legs exactly as they are and lift your hand up towards the ceiling. From here, let's roll out those wrists again. We just worked them hard. So roll in one way and then the other. Reach your hands up nice and tall. Look towards the ceiling or the sky and then exhale, bring that hand back down. Place both hands onto the mat. Lift that back knee. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe you just step back into a downward facing dog. Maybe you step back into plank pose. Pause for a big breath in. Big breath out. One more deep breath. Exhale, drop your knees. Come all the way down onto the belly. We're gonna stretch it out here. Hands to the shoulders. Squeeze elbows in. Press the tops of the legs into the floor. Inhale, lift up. Stretch the belly. Exhale, lower down. Inhale for cobra pose, stretch through the belly, lift the belly off the floor. Exhale, lower down. Last one, big breath in, stretch it out. And exhale, lower down. Either press back into hands and knees or onto your knees into that plank pose position or all the way up into push up. You choose what you want today, but wherever you are, you're gonna push that floor away like you mean it. So go for three, two, one, push it away. And then exhale, downward facing dog. You may wanna move the blanket aside again. We'll grab it later. Back into that core muscle. Inhale now, the left leg high. Exhale, shift your shoulders over your wrist, pull your knee in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, tuck your knee in, lift it towards your chest. Inhale, lift that leg up. Exhale, tuck that in towards your chest, hold it here. 
and maybe step your foot through it. If it doesn't quite get there, you can actually move your foot manually itself. This is a great place to put your blanket under your knees. So take a moment to do that. And then lower that back knee. Walk your hands up to the front knee. Whoop. Balance is always something we can learn from, so it's okay if you fall and wobble. That's how we learn. Stretching forward. Now here, that tailbone pulls down, belly up and in for a little bit of a pelvic tilt. Start to lean forward to feel a stretch in the back leg. Lift and rise with your hands on the inhale breath. And then exhale, stay. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. Last one, big breath, stretch through the sides of your waist. Exhale, hands come down. This time the right fingertips are gonna come off the right side of your mat, facing to the right. And then you're gonna take your left hand and place it on the knee to twist through the spine. Take a big breath in and exhale. Now you can stay here if that feels supportive for you or you can lift that top hand. And if you're lifting the top hand, now might be a nice opportunity to roll out the wrist in one direction and the other. Stretch up nice and tall. And then exhale, hands come down. Now again, you can just place your knee next to the back knee and come into downward facing dog. Or if you'd like a little bit more of a push to look to um, move that energy that's building in the belly, lift the back knee. Maybe step back, downward facing dog. Maybe step back, back and come to plank. You choose. Pause wherever you are, hold a breath in. Slow breath out. One more deep breath in. Exhale, drop, drop the knees, lower all the way down onto the belly. We're gonna do three more cobras here. Squeeze elbows in, hands under shoulders, tops of the feet press firmly onto the mat. Inhale, lift the heart up and forward for a stretch in your low belly. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, squeeze elbows in, lift up. Lift the head, the shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, lower down. One more big breath in, shoulders pull down and away. Ears lift up, hold for three. Big breath in, two. Smile and lower because it's almost over. Take a big breath in and stretch back. Rest, child. In the child pose, just notice what you feel in your body. Notice if you've built some heat, if your heart rate has gone a little bit higher or faster. And that's similar to how sometimes we feel when we get angry. So in this child's pose, we're going to slow it down by taking some deep, slow breaths. And if you feel complete in your breathing, gently bring your hands towards your knees and press yourself. We're going to move to some standing postures at the top of your mat. So now we're going to move into some focusing energy through some of our standing postures. So as you know, anger can kind of tense up the whole body. So we're going to use some of the strength of our whole body and some of our warrior poses. So as you may know, yoga also has its superheroes and those are in our warrior poses. So we're gonna move some of that anger energy, get that energy moving and flowing through the body in our warrior poses. So we're gonna begin by standing, let's stand sideways on your mat. If there's a way you could do that facing me, that would be great. And as you do that, you're going to step your feet wide. And you're you can bring your hands onto your hips if you like, but your right toes are gonna to face towards the right side of the room while your left toes kind of tuck in facing the long edge of your mat. And you might notice that your hips want to shift here. So bring your hips back into alignment by using your hands and then slowly start to bend into that front leg. Now I notice here that I need to kind of shift my legs wider so that my knee doesn't go over my toes. It wants to stay right above that ankle. Now from here, stretch your arms wide. 
and then engage all the muscles in your arms so much that your arm shakes. And then start to look over your right hand and bring focus. Now imagine that you're squeezing your heels together and you're gonna feel some engagement in the muscles in your legs. And we're gonna move through some movement like we're gonna be a warrior with a bow and arrow. So on your inhale breath, bring that front arm forward. And then exhale, pull back like you have a bow and arrow and you're going to fling it up somewhere in that distance. And then arms stretch wide again. And we'll do that again. Big breath in, stretch wide. Exhale, arms are gonna come back. Inhale, pull like you're going to be pulling through that cord. And then exhale, shoot something off into the distance. Big breath in, stretch the arms. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale like you're going to shoot that bow and arrow. And exhale, fling it into something that you might be angry or upset about. Arms come wide one more time, noticing the shaking and burning of your legs, but stay there anyway. Inhale, lift this top arm up and breathe. And then exhale, reach the arm down. This is also called peaceful warrior. So warriors can be strong and peaceful. Big breath in and out. Inhale, come back to your warrior two pose. And then exhale, straighten that front leg. Come back to your hands and your hips. Pause for a breath in. And then exhale, feel your feet on the floor. And we're gonna inhale, lift your chest forward, bring your weight into your toes. And then exhale, parallel your body towards the floor. You can stay here with your hands on your hips or reach your arms out wide. Engage that core that we've been focusing so much on, bring it up and in, and then exhale. You can always bend your knees, that's allowed, but bring your hands towards the floor and let it stretch. Your hands don't even have to touch the floor. It's gonna reach towards the floor. So your bodies are changing and growing every day, so sometimes it takes a little while for those muscles to catch up. So if you're only here today, that is totally fine. The only thing that you need to do right now in this pose is notice the stretch and breathe. Take one more big breath in and exhale. Inhale, lift your torso parallel to the floor again. Either spread your arms wide or bring your hands to your hips and then slowly come back up to stand. And guess what? We're going to do that other side. So now, the left toes point towards the left side of the room. The right toes tuck in. Hands on hips, bend that knee. And you might need to shift your feet so that your knee, your front knee doesn't go over those toes. Now from here, strong arms reach from side to side. Pull those muscles in as you press your feet into the floor and squeeze your heels in to feel the engagement of those muscles on the leg. And then let's do our warrior pose by looking out now towards the left hand. Big breath in, see what's beyond your fingers. Maybe something you'd like to, that's your target. So that, oh, that COVID virus or something that I got, I missed out on. So now check that out in the distance and then big breath in, lifts your arm towards the other. And exhale, stay, inhale, pull, 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 pull. Exhale, release. Arms stretch out wide. Let's do that a couple more times. Big breath in, stretch arms. Exhale, arms come across. Grab onto your bow and arrow. Pull, 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 pull it back. Feel the muscles shake. Look at that target behind. Fling. Exhale. Arms stretch wide. Inhale. Exhale, hands swing over. Inhale, pull, 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 pull. And exhale, release. Straighten that front leg. Hands come down to your sides, toes and feet jump together. Pause for a moment, maybe place your hand on your heart, maybe let your hands come down to your sides. And wherever you are, notice the feeling and the sensations in your body. Maybe the heart is racing, maybe the muscles might still feel a little tense or tingly from before. Big breath in, big breath out. 
Now we're gonna to move to a warrior one pose. And I'm gonna be switching from side to side on your mat. You're gonna to stand toward the top edge of your mat. For me in this position, it's gonna be here. So I'm standing at the top edge of my mat, hands on my hips. My right foot's gonna stay forward. I'm gonna bend my knees a little bit and the left leg's gonna step back. Now notice that you might need to walk your right foot to the right just a little bit, but you wanna keep that back foot flat and kind of pointed towards the top upper corner of your mat. But your whole foot is gonna be firmly on the mat and you're gonna push down in that foot and then turn your hips forward and bend slowly in that front knee. It may not be that you get as much of a bend and that's okay, but you're gonna feel the firm back leg, so your left leg firmly on the floor and your right leg forward. Now on your inhale breath, you're gonna lift your arms up and then exhale, pull your hands down and go, ha! We're gonna do that a couple more times. Big breath in, feel it in your gut. And then exhale, hips and arms, ha! Last one, big breath in. And exhale, ha! Notice how good that feels in your body just to yell it out. Take another big breath in and exhale. Inhale, straighten that front leg, and then exhale, step your foot in a little bit closer, and then maybe start to lean forward. You can always keep a slight bend in that front knee so that you feel a stretch all along the front, the back of the front leg. This is also called pyramid pose. From here, you're just gonna feel your feet firmly on the ground and let your torso kind of dangle. Don't forget about that back foot. That's our anchor that keeps us sturdy and strong. Take a big breath in and out. Inhale, you lift your core, so lift yourself all the way up to standing. And then exhale, step your back foot to meet your front. Let's pause, big breath in, slow breath out. Now you guys are gonna stay at the front edge of your mat. I'm gonna to move to the other side so I can teach you from this position and see you a little bit better. So start again with your hands on your hip. This time now, your left foot stays forward and your right foot steps back. Now you don't have to be that far from each other. Your legs can kind of be in a moderate width apart from each other. Hips are gonna to turn towards the front of the room. They may not get there and that's okay. What's important here is our foundation. So our back foot is gonna be firmly planted onto the floor as our knee starts to bend forward. Now it's not gonna go over the toes. If it is, you're gonna wiggle that foot forward a little bit and then get a nice deep bend in that front leg. Don't forget about this core. This is that place of strength as well as that holds that place of anger. So we're gonna use it and move from anger to strength here. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, hands come down, ha! Big breath in, lifts you up, reach your chest to the sky. Exhale, ha! Feel it in your core, last one, big breath in. Exhale, ha! Notice how you shifted the energy in your body straight in your front leg. Maybe you step that back foot in just a little bit here, or you keep a slight bend in the front leg. Lean over that front leg, bend at the hip crease, and let your hands dangle, your head dangle. Now, if your hands don't touch the floor, it's okay to use your leg, or just let it kind of dangle towards the floor. Just feel the sturdiness and the strength of your legs as it holds you in place. And notice the stretch all along the back of the front leg. Head and neck can shake and be heavy, shaking your head yes and no. Maybe open your mouth and moving your jaw from side to side. That's a place we like to hold a lot of tension and anger. So let's release that as we hang upside down for three. Big breath in two. And one, hands to hips. Lift your chest up and out. Step your back foot to meet the front and pause. In. Slow breath out. Big breath in. Slow breath out. 
last one. And exhale, ha, maybe say something. Shake out your arms. So we're gonna move, so you're gonna stay at the top of your mat and we're gonna move through some, maybe some deep, deep uh, muscle work as well as a little bit of balance and focus here. So I'm gonna move back on my mat just a little bit. You're welcome to go to a place that's comfortable for you. In this one, you can either keep your toes together with a slight um, separation of your ankles, or you can keep your feet hip width distance here. Hip width distance is going to give you a little bit more work in those legs. Toes to touch, knees wide, or a uh, little separation in your heels is just going to give you a little bit more support in the pose. So what I'm going to have you do is bring your arms up overhead an extended mountain pose. And then exhale, drop your seat as if you're going to be sitting in a chair. Arms are gonna stretch up towards the ceiling. Hips are gonna sit like you're in a chair. Now take a notice and see if you can see your toes. So for some of us, our knees are hanging out over our toes. Try to pull those knees back so that you can see the tops of your feet. That might mean you don't sit as well and that's okay. Look out beyond your arms. And then exhale, reach your arms back, lift your chest forward, maybe sit a little bit lower. Do that a few more times. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, reach back, stretch your chest forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, stretch your back, reach forward. Last one like this. Inhale, lift up. Use your core to hold yourself steady. Maybe look at a spot in front of you and come up onto your tippy toes. Woo! You can always keep your feet down. This is just gonna give you a little bit more focus and balance. Maybe you bring your hands behind you and pause for a drinking purge position. I'm gonna fall out of the pose and that's okay. Wiggling and wobbling is a part of it. Maybe you set your hips a little bit lower. On your inhale breath, you're gonna straighten your legs. Stay on your tippy toes. Come all the way up on your mat. Maybe you walk a little bit on those toes, but try to be steady for three. Big breath in, two, and one. Heels come down, hands come over the heart. And notice what your heart rate's in here. Mine is beating awful fast. So I'm gonna calm it down by breathing. Big breath in. And out. One more big breath in. Lot. We're going to do that series again. So this gives you an opportunity to maybe stay on those toes a little longer. And if you didn't stay on the toes, just try it. So arms stretch up, reach up super high. Pull that belly in, those low ribs in, and then exhale, sit back into your chair. Squeeze your arms straight, reach beyond what you can see. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, chest leans forward, arms stretch back. Inhale up, exhale forward, stretch like you're flying. Inhale, lift up, exhale, stretch those arms back. One more inhale up, now come onto your tippy toes or stay with your feet on the floor. Whatever you decide is best for you in this moment. Maybe become that little drinking bird. Lean forward with your chest, stay high on the toes, arms reach back. Pause for a breath in. Breath out. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Stay on those tippy toes or not. Exhale, heels rest. Hands come down to center. And pause. Big breath in. And slow breath out. Big breath in. And breath out. Take a moment, maybe keep your hands at the center of your chest, and slowly, slowly begin to sit all the way down, bending deeply into your knees until your heels lift, hands come down to the sides, and sit onto your mats. And we'll meet for the final push of our anger series. So we've come to the last of our strengthening poses for this particular class. 
this might be a great opportunity to take a drink of water, do something to care for your body. So you guys have been doing such a great job at working so hard. And then once you've done that, once you've taken care of your needs, we're gonna meet on our mats on our stomachs. So I'm just gonna roll right onto my stomach. And we're gonna come back to that sphinx pose that we did at the beginning of class. So you wanna make sure that in this one you can curl your toes under, but for now you're gonna place your forearms underneath your shoulders and your hands are gonna super glue to the floor. The other option here and what might be safe for most of you is to clasp your hands so that the outer edges of your forearms onto, are onto your mat. And I think that's the safest option, so that's the one I'm going to teach today. From here, same thing. Your belly button's gonna pull up and in, and you're gonna pull your elbows back as your chest lifts and your shoulders squeeze behind you. Now notice how your belly wants to drop and sag towards the floor. Use your strength of your belly, this thing that we've been working on so hard, to lift your belly up. Now from here, what we're going to do is look forward towards your fists and curl your toes under. Now you might want to adjust your shoulders a little bit so that your shoulders or your four elbows feel like they're right underneath your shoulders. And then you can either use your knees here or push yourself up into a forearm plank. So push the floor away, like you're, just like you did in your um, plank pose before with your forearms, push them away like you're angry, like you're trying to push at a wall or door or something there and keep pushing away. But notice that space right above the belly button and lift up through that space as your hips sink down. Take a deep breath in and exhale. And then on your inhale breath, you're gonna lift that belly up and start to walk your toes like you're in that downward dog position, but your forearms on the floor. Let your head relax between your arms. Maybe you walk your feet a little bit forward more, maybe you bend your knees, but lift the belly button up. This is dolphin pose. Hold this for three. Take a deep breath in, two, and one. Relax, knees down, toes touch. Stretch your arms wide in that much, much, much deserved child's pose. Relax your arms, your shoulders, your legs, your hips. Notice if you're gripping in your jaw, Open your mouth and move that jaw from side to side. And let everything be heavy. Now, if you felt that last little push was enough, stay here in this child's pose. For those of you who want a little bit more of a push, you want to try that with me again. Here we go. Crawl forward onto your belly. Start in Sphinx Pose, remember? Elbows over your shoulders. Chest pulls up and through, head um, presses back like it's pressing back into something that's holding it in place. Here we're going to clasp our hands and push the, sh the outer edges of our forearms down into the floor. Now notice how that belly wants to sag, but push it up and in and lift it away from the floor. Now remember, you can always come onto your knees first or if you're doing this again with me, maybe you, try, you decide to do a little bit of the more challenging option by just lifting the hips. And you can always adjust your feet like I just did here. Push the floor away from you. Pull the belly up and in. Look out beyond your knuckles. Squeeze your elbows towards your feet as your feet pull towards your elbows and hold for three. Big breath in, you can do it too. And one, but don't let go. Start to walk your feet towards your nose, lift your hips. You can always bend your legs, especially if you're feeling a lot in the back of your legs. Hold for three, belly button up and in two, and one, stretch back. Enjoy your child's pose. Stay here and let your body become heavy, almost so heavy like it's gonna move through the floor, even though you know the floor is there to support you. Breathe so big that your back and your torso lift a little bit more when you breathe in. And then when you exhale, just let everything collapse and be heavy towards the floor. Last one, big breath in. 
slow breath out. Great job, friends. Start to walk your hands towards your knees, cross your ankles, and sit all the way back. And then we're going to do a little bit of work here before we finally rest into our child's pose. So from here, bring your hands towards your knees, lift your chest, and then as you exhale, let your body roll and tuck, slowing yourself all the way down to the floor. Bring your hands out to the sides like cactus or a T. And then start to lift your legs as if you're sitting in a chair. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, lower your legs all the way to your left side as your head looks out towards the right. And again, let your body be fluffy. Notice how the body changes on your inhales and your exhales. Choosing here to close the eyes or look at a spot out beyond your right hand. Take a big breath in, knees come back up towards the center, and then exhale. Legs flop off to the right. Look out over your left arm. Everything become a little heavier on the floor. Knees come back up on your inhale. Maybe grab onto the outer edges of your shins, pulling your knees closer to your chest. Take a big breath in here. And then exhale, pull your shoulders, your head, tuck your knees in towards your forehead, squeeze everything into a tiny little ball. Take one more big breath in. And exhale, relaxing the Shavasana. So your arms can be along your sides. Maybe they would prefer to rest back on our bellies. Let yourself be super heavy and let go of your breathing. Let, let it go back to normal. Take a moment just to know what it feels like right now. Physically, what sensations do you feel? Maybe you notice the air of the room or the warmth of your clothing. Maybe you notice the heavy of the heaviness of your muscles. like this time right now. It feels like it's been forever. It feels like it'll never go away. But it will change. In our relaxation pose, this final moment of your class, if your arms and hands are on your belly, you're going to lay them out. 
heavy on your mat. And I'm gonna guide you through progressive muscle relaxation, which is kind of what we did in our entire class. It's this idea that if we squeeze and intensify the muscles in our body, it'll allow us to relax them even more. Begin to focus your attention on your right hand. Begin to squeeze your right hand into a fist. Squeeze it so tightly that you feel the muscles along the forearm engage and maybe the muscles in the bind. Squeeze all your fingers, all your muscles into the bone. Notice the shaking, burning sensation and hold for five, four, three, take a deep breath in, two, and one. Let your arm relax and fall to the floor. Let it be floppy. Feel the weight of your right arm, the tingling sensation in your right fingertips. Maybe you notice that it feels like that right arm to focus your attention on your left arm. Squeezing your left hand into a fist. Squeezing all the muscles into the bones so much that maybe it starts to shake and burn. Keep squeezing and holding for five, four, three, big breath in, two, and one, drop that arm to the earth. Let it be heavy. Notice the tingling sensation in your fingertips or along the arm. Notice how relaxed your arms feel, how heavy they feel onto the ground. Next begin to bring your awareness to your right leg. Begin to lift the right leg an inch or two off the floor, either pointing your toes or flexing your feet. Regardless, squeeze all the muscles of your legs into the bones. Squeeze so hard that maybe you feel a shaking or warmth sensation along the right leg and hold for five, four, three, deep breath in, two, and one. Let your leg fall to the floor. Let it be heavy. Notice the difference from the left leg to the right. that right leg feel heavier to you. And then bring your attention to your left leg. Lifting your left leg an inch or two off the floor and doing the same as you did with the first leg, either pointing the toes pushing the toes away for you or pulling the heel, extending the heel away from you. But whatever you do, squeeze all those muscles into the bone so that you feel a tension in the muscles. Maybe they shake, maybe they burn. Keep holding and squeezing all those muscles to the bone for five, four, three, deepest breath, two, and one, let it fall floppy onto the floor. Notice the sensations and how heavy your legs and your arms feel. Heavy muscles are relaxed muscles. And lastly, we're gonna draw attention to the muscles all along the forehead or the brow 
an area we don't spend much time paying attention to, but we might hold a lot of tension in our body. So feel that sensation of your forehead. And then as if you're going to pull your eyebrows up to your hairline, squeeze and tighten the muscles all along your forehead and hold that for five, four, three, deep breath in, two, and one, release your face, maybe choose to do a little horse's breath, maybe just open your mouth and move your jaw from side to side, and then relax your face, let your lips rest onto your teeth, and your eyelids rest on top of the eyes. Feel the release of tension all along your face and in your entire body. And rest here in full relaxation in your Shavasana. Here in the moment for the next minute or so. And if it's hard to keep your mind focused on one thing, just pick something. Pick something maybe you notice your breath as you're breathing. Maybe you notice the weight of your body on the floor or the temperature of the room or if you're outside. are hard to pay attention to. Pick a sound, just one sound off in the distance. Let your mind be focused. Let your body be calm and still. Gently begin to waken your body, moving your head from side to side as if to say no. Maybe reach your arms up and overhead. Stretch your arms like you're getting yourself a little bit taller. Stretch your toes away from your fingertips. Gauge, engage all the muscles into the body. And as you exhale, do as you just did, let it go. Choosing to hug your knees into your chest or rolling off to one side. Bring yourself up into a sitting position, tall and steady. Noticing the changes you created in your body in this practice today. Any feelings, thoughts, or sensations shift, all of that was done in your practice. Great work, friends. Join me if you like, bringing your hands at the center of your chest. Bowing, bowing in honor of your practice and the change you created in your body, shifting anger to something else. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.